Chukramuna has criticized the shadow cabinet image Getty. The independent group TIG MP insisted yesterday that his former party must work to put the national interest at the forefront of its plans. Last week, Jeremy Corbyn announced that the Labour Party would back a second referendum amid subsequent reports that such a decision had created a riff within the party. Mr. Amuna's comments come as a number of frontbench MPs including Shadow Housing Minister Melanie On and Shadow Justice Minister Gloria Di Piero publicly opposed a second vote. Mr. Amuna said, with just 26 days to go to the scheduled date of departure, it is absolutely vital that we all work together in the national interest to give people the final say on Brexit. All terms and conditions attached to a people's vote need to be dropped and an unequivocal commitment given now to make it happen. There is no time to waste. Mr. Amuna and other members of TIG left the respective parties in part due to the issues currently surrounding Brexit. The TIG MP was recently appointed as spokesman for the group and has been a critic of Mr. Corbyn's leadership of his former party. Read more. Brexit boost. European investment. In UK more than doubled. Mr. Amuna has recently been designated as the spokesman for TIG. Image Getty. Specifically, Mr. Amuna left what he termed a cult of fear and that he felt uncomfortable in the party. In light of Mr. Amuna's Comments, Shadow Chancellor John McDonnell suggested that the party will whip its MPs to back a second Brexit vote. Instead, if offering a free vote, the party will likely demand that its MPs back the second referendum in a move. That one MP warned could lead to a rebellion of 70 Labour politicians. Speaking on Sky, Mr McDonnell said, normally, we will whip and that will be decided in the normal way by the chief whip and the shadow cabinet and the party overall. Read more, Brexit no deal may prove to be the best deal of all, Professor says Emma MacDonald has insisted that they will whip MPs to voting for a second vote. Image Getty, I think on an issue as this we would see a whip but also you've got to respect people's views and the constituency interests as well. And the whipping arrangement will be determined in discussion in due course. Mr MacDonald also insisted that the party would never be forgiven if it allowed a Brexit deal or no deal to damage the futures of its membership. In response, however, senior backbencher Caroline Flint demanded a free vote on the deal. Ms Flint urged Mr Macdonald that Labour MPs should be free to vote on improved workers' right, something she had campaigned on in any new Brexit deal.